Hi there, fellas. I hope you all are doing okay because I am. My name is Sratlani Prilen Soralisila and I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Actually Living With Pretty. Have you ever wondered or asked yourself how long does it take for one to become qualified as an actuary? Well, today we're going to be looking into that question. The duration of becoming a qualified actuary depends on a certain factors. But before we look into those factors, I would like to state two paths that one can take in order for them to become qualified as an actuary. The first path is the first is the path of <laughs> is the path of obtaining a degree at university and then later on going to the associations, any association, either ASA or IFOA, and then writing your board exams. The second path would be just heading straight there with your highest qualification as metric. So let's consider the path of getting a degree. The first factor that affects the duration is how long is your degree? The allocated time to complete your actual science degree at the University of Pretoria is three years. But then if you end up in the extended program of actual sciences in the university of, at the University of Pretoria, you would end up completing it within four years. So sometimes it doesn't take you three years to complete your degree like myself and sometimes it doesn't take you four years but you might end up adding maybe two years or three years to the number of years allocated to that particular degree so that's another factor that is affecting the duration of how long one takes the duration of one qualifying as an actuary now the second factor would be how many exams exemptions did you get during the course of your degree. Remember, there's a video where I was talking about how one can obtain exemptions at the university, at a university. So do check if the university that you're at is offering exemptions and all that. I've said these things in one of my previous videos, so do check it out. I think I'll link it up here. So the number of exemptions that you get during your degree also affects the duration that it takes for you to qualify. So let's say you obtained five exemptions at university. So then that means the number of board exams that you will be writing will be reduced, hence reducing the duration that it will take for you to qualify. And then another factor is failing. Obviously, it's not easy. These board exams are not easy. Uh, I've also posted a video on the rates. I think I did. Passing rates. At, uh, at the ASA of the ASA board exams, so it's not easy for you to pass these board exams. So if you frequently fail, you will be increasing the number of years it takes for you to qualify. The next factor is the fact that the ASA board exams are only available two times in a year, so they are divided into two semesters. I think the the first batch of uh, board exams is written in May, and the second batch of board exams is written in October. So if you keep on failing like that and also in taking into account this fact of writing the board exams, I mean the board exams only being available two times in a year, you will end up taking a bit more longer to complete your, your board exams and eventually qualify as an actuary. Some people after getting their degrees, they opt or rather they get employment, meaning that they will be working while studying for their board exams we all know how difficult it is for us to study and eventually get that degree now imagine adding the pressure of being employed or rather adding the pressure of working so that will kind of sort of um, increase the number of years it takes for you to qualify those are not the only factors that are involved but there are a few that i thought i should touch on and also there are other things like um, starting your family and so on and so forth. So eventually you will end up increasing the number of years bit by bit with setting things here and there occurring. Maybe you might fall sick and be hospitalized and not be able to write that particular semester. Like there are just a lot of factors that are involved, but those are the main factors that came to mind 
how long will it take for you to complete your degree how many exemptions will you get during your time at university how many times have you failed or will you be failing <laughs> i know we don't wish to fail but it happens it happens and then availability of the exams during the course of the year and also working while studying for your exams these are the five main factors that came to mind as i was doing my investigation so now when i googled this question when i just typed in into google and said how long does it take for one to become qualified as a an actuary google said it takes an average of eight years for one to qualify as an actuary so basically they said it's three years of university studying and five years of completing your degree remember that's just on average it really varies like i said in one of my videos it varies from person to person but on average it can take you eight years for you to qualify as an actuary for some it takes them less say maybe five years if you do well in university and obtain most of your, your your exemptions in university during those three years and then just use two years to complete the rest of the remaining board exams if by any chance you consider taking the path of no degree then bear in mind that you're gonna take a bit more longer than someone who's obtained a degree because one they are given basics at the university and you won't be you won't have those basics that they get from the university. So you're going to have to go on your own to online sites like Udemy in order to educate yourself on basics um, such as differential equations and stuff like that. So it will take, it is possible, but it will take much longer if you do not go to go through the route of getting a degree. I hope this video was informative and I hope that you do, you did like it. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button and comment in the comment section on questions or rather anything else that you want to know so that I can make a new video on that. And yeah, until next time, stay safe and stay blessed.